Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program. The current guidance recommends that we all wear masks in order to slow the spread of the virus, and that applies to everyone but the youngest of children. Alicia is here now with some advice for parents and caregivers on how to get the little ones used to it because it does take adjusting. It does, Shari. And you know, as the mother of a six-year-old, we've had some pretty emotional conversations about this. Seeing people wearing masks can be uneasy for children, and getting them to wear one can also be a challenge. We got some tips to help the little ones make it part of their routine. Kind of sad to see like, you know, a beautiful little like innocent face like covered up, like her smile covered up. So it is, it is a little weird. So here's how she tackled the mask task for six-year-old Maya. I think making it like a, a cute mask and like explaining we're doing it together and we've tried to normalize it as much as possible. And getting some of her favorite friends involved. Like even Queen Anna has to wear one, like everyone <laughs> has to wear one to go out. Experts say just that idea of getting out could be incentive enough. That's the ticket. <laughs> Putting the mask on is the ticket to getting out of your home. And make it part of the routine. It's like wearing a seatbelt. It's like putting on a winter coat. It's to keep them safe. Local seamstresses and small shops are also creating whimsical custom masks just for the little ones, like so much cooler in Narberth. And so how do you get a three, four, five-year-old to wear a mask? You give them their favorite character or, you know, their their favorite sport. Yeah. She's released an array of designs and sizes just for kids. Get pictures of kids smiling in the streets of Philadelphia and they, they kind of think it's fun. The same spirit is driving the new designs at Villa Villa Coola in Chestnut Hill. Ricks, we're trying to make it so the kids can choose their personality and make it a happy thing for them. And make it part of a look. But we're making like capes and doll masks now and skirts and things to make it just a little bit more dress up and fun. I love that. One more tip. The more effortless parents make it, the more kids will just follow that lead and let them know this is empowering. It's how we can help ourselves and others at the same time. Rick. All right. Thank you. Good advice, Alicia. Appreciate it.